You got baby Terry you playing with? You gonna help dad work on his race car? Where, where do you want to go after we finish working on the race car? Play -go. Play -go. <laughs> so the last time I talked to everyone, we sold the engine out of my Nova. And I kind of didn't know whether to go to this small block Hemi or not. But I said, what the heck, we'll throw it in here and see how it does. The no prep kings. So we uh, started about two weeks ago, put it in. Started the car Saturday night around, not Thursday night, around 7 o'clock. Loaded the trailer, shot up to Florida, slept two hours. First pass, it was a dub. Like, it was slow as shit. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to say dub, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> she take that dub shit first, bro. <laughs> Second pass, it actually did pretty decent. Third pass, uh, it went towards the center line. I had to pedal it, lost my rail, but it still showed a lot of potential. I think I got something I can run with a lot of guys with. I mean, they're super fast. They've raced for the last year on tracks, a couple of years, and for us to roll out three, flat, three passes and be anywhere in the ballpark, I thought that was pretty good. Like I said, we changed everything with the whole car. We got a air full blower, never ran it uh, until Friday. Uh, four, six hundred small block Hemi. Uh, Rosalind transmission, changed the gears, cool on plug. I mean, we changed a lot of stuff on this car. And for it to even go up the track was impressive to me. Hopefully, we can uh, check it over, fix a few problems we know we have. Roll out to Virginia and then maybe they'll do good there. Nick Bruder, he's really uh, he's really the key to the tuning on this on this deal, but uh, he is the key to the tuning. They don't really do it. Uh, the Kowalskis, they help us so much. Don, they fabricated my headers. I mean, Jason does a lot for us. I mean, there's some awesome guys that really help us go racing and help make this car fast. Anything you want to add? I think you should tell them a little bit about this car that we're hiding right here. Oh, the Barracuda? Yeah. So over the last year, I've kind of taken parts out of my, out of my Nova, older car, like my older parts. So this is my, was my spare engine at the time. Uh, the hardest thing about street racing and track racing, the one reason I didn't go to the Oak Kings, or go to, uh, another reason I don't go to a lot of track races, is because switching a car from street to track is tough. So that's where this car hopefully comes in play, is I want to I race it on the street and race my Nova on a track. That way I can keep it set up and suspension because when we went to Florida, we had to change so much on the suspension, front struts, the rear shocks, springs, uh, foreleg, and then it's like shooting in the dark when you show up in a race and trying to uh, do good. So I want to purposely race this one on the street and set it up for the street. And it's slowly coming together. I'd say a couple more months I'll uh, hope to be testing it. Basically the only thing that's the same from the America's List car over here is just the body. You've pretty much changed everything else from the Nova and yeah, yeah, a lot of our, make it into a track car. And now you got a lot of the stuff on the Barracuda. And that, both of them are cool on plug. Uh, I didn't think I would switch away from the, the mag. I just like it. When I learn something, I like to stick with it. I don't like change. So when it's, when the tune-ups match, I like keeping them. I don't want to change the colon plug, so my tune-ups are different. I have to go in and change stuff. Uh, so that's been a little bit of a learning experience. Uh, but now I've ran it, I like it. So just like anything, it, it was worth the, worth the switch over. And this is one of the body styles of one of the first cars I've ever owned in my life. Like I had a Nova and a, a Barracuda. Well, I both of them kind of the same time. And I always wanted one of these back and ran up on it. And we've been changing things and working on it. It was just about together. We pulled the struts off and shipped them out to Texas when, uh, when JJ wrecked the uh, Hummingbird to get that car back going. We just got our struts back, got them back on here. I think I took the column plug brackets off, put them on my Nova, 
they got swiped a lot of stuff off to make that car run again. So over the next month or two, hopefully I can get my parts back and get this one back running. Right. And maybe it'll be as fast as the Nova on the street. If not, the Nova will be back on the street. <laughs> So for now, though, you're definitely going to be at uh, Virginia Motorsports Park next weekend at the race two of No Prep Kings? That's the plan. That's the plan. I, I've, and with us running a one-off engine in the Nova now, I really, once I got put out at No Prep Kings, I couldn't make many more passes because I wanted to save it to make the second one. But that's the plan is to show up and make that hot rod really fast. All right, cool. So we look forward to seeing everybody in a couple weeks at VMP in the race number two of No Prep Kings. See you guys later.